KCT 2025 round 3 aspirants. So, yes, the round 3 option entry dates are already out. And there are some very good news as you all know that new colleges can be added. But there are certain special instructions for those students who have selected choice 2 and choice 3 in round 2. Okay, so I will be discussing that in detail. So, all the choice 2 and choice 3 candidates, please uh, gather here and watch this video till the end because this is going to be something very, very important for all of you. So, yes, as I told you, we will be discussing uh, special instructions for choice 2 and choice 3 candidates. So, let us first talk about the choice 1 candidates. Okay, just a minute. Yes, so those students who have selected choice 2. So, candidates can add new options if they are interested in the third round. Okay, the first thing is you can add new options here. Next, all the higher order options will be shown in the option entry list. Candidates can alter, delete, rearrange or modify the higher order options. So, whatever are the options, the options that were there before the allotted college, these are your higher order options, you can modify them. Next, if a higher order options are allotted to them in the third round, the seat allotted during the second round will automatically stand cancelled or if any of the higher order options are not allotted in the third round, then the seat allotted in the second round will be remaining with the candidate. Okay, So, this is very basic rule. If you are getting a new college in the third round, then definitely your this second round college will, uh, will be cancelled. If you are not getting any college in third round, then the seat you had in second round will remain with you. Next, higher order options means presume that the candidate has entered 85th of 85 options and 67th option is allotted to the candidate in the second round. Then the priority number 1 to 66 are the higher order options. The lowered options that is 68 to 85 will be deleted automatically. Okay. So, if any of the higher order options are not allotted, then the allotted seat in the second round will remain with you. Now, here something very important is there. Candidates are advised to enter only such options. If the seat is allotted, they have to compulsorily join the selected college in the third or casual vacancy seat allotment without giving any reasons or excuses because the seats will be allotted based on the rank and merit and the priority of options entered by the candidate. So, students, whatever seat you are definitely sure that you will join those uh, college or course, please put only those colleges because after round 3, there is no option for seat cancellation. You have to compulsorily join. So, please check your option entry 2 to 3 times. Make sure that you have put all the options where you are genuinely interested. Next, if a candidate decides that unwanted options are there in their option entry, he or she can delete it in consultation with the parents. So, if you think that this college is not, you are not interested further in this, you can simply remove it because if that college is allotted, you have to definitely join it. Next, candidates have to take the printout of the option entry submitted by them. So, please keep this option entry, download the printout form that is very, very important. Now, let us move to those students who have selected choice 3 in round 2. Let us see what are special instructions for them by KEA. So, candidates can add new options in the third round if they are interested. Okay, So, that is very, very good news. You can add new options in your option entry list. Second important thing, after the process of commencement of options entry process in the third round has started, the choice 3 candidates who have paid the caution deposit of rupees 10,000 will be shown all the options entered by the candidate in the second round except the option cancelled by the candidate allotted in the second round. Okay, So, if you have already paid the caution deposit of rupees 10,000 in round 2, then only you will be allowed to participate in round 3. But if you have not paid the caution deposit, still you can pay right now till 8th of September, the date is there. So, please make the payment and then you can participate in round 3. Okay, So, what you have to do? So, all the options that you have entered will be visible to you on the right hand side of the panel of the portal all the options will be visible to you only one option will not be visible which you have rejected in round 2 ok then Candidates can change the options or modify the priority of options or remove any options if it is not required. The option that you remove will remain on your left side screen and such options will not be considered. Okay, So, whatever options you remove that comes to the left hand side of the screen and that will not be considered for your option entry list. So, that means any options can be changed or the priority numbers can be modified or any options can be removed if it is not required. Okay, So, you can modify, you can remove, you can even add new 
new colleges and also you are also uh, uh, instructed to keep keep a printout of the final option entry list so that you can have a uh, like uh, knowledge of what all colleges you have put in the option entry okay so that's all in this video students it is very very important to make sure that your option entry is perfect at this point of time because one wrong college can completely ruin your career so please check your option entry three to four times as many times as possible add only those colleges if you are adding any new college that where you are genuinely interested and remove all those options where you are not interested to join okay if you have any further doubts please put down in the comment section thank you for watching and all the best for the counseling process